What's that, Jack? vlog number nine as you guys saw in the last vlog i installed my new lights they came with the bulbs inside but when i went to work later that night i kid you not the bulbs that already came with this light unit literally reached like a foot away from my bumper so they don't reach far at all i don't know it's i don't know if you guys can tell but it's a, like a really like old bulb this came off of 2002 remember so um, these are the ones off my these are the ones that I bought the new ones so I'm gonna swap them out hopefully they fit in there because I know sometimes little things are different so we're gonna put those in I really can't test it because it's so sunny out and it's daytime so I really can't tell if there's a difference but these should work better because these ones that were my old one so I'm gonna install those real quick I'm sure if you're able to see but I switched out the headlights because I thought maybe it would be the headlights I don't know if you guys can see it, but look, same thing. I put the headlights that were in my, the bulbs that were in my other headlights, and look, I get nothing, barely anything. So it's gotta be something with the lens. I don't know if it's aimed down, which it kinda look, I don't know if you guys can tell that, but look at that. That's regular, you put on my high beams, it's basically the same. So I don't know what's wrong with that. It's definitely not the bulb, because the old, the bulbs that came with this, I do the same thing as the new ones that I just put in. So it's got to be something with the actual um, the light unit itself. I don't know if it's aimed down or, or what. You can't even see the light like on this car, for example. Usually if you have regular headlights, you'll see the, your headlight shining on their car. It doesn't even reach that far. So I thought that that would fix it. I guess not. I guess I have to go home now and see if I can aim the headlight up a little bit. Because there are kind of like little knobs that you like screw to like adjust the headlight. So maybe it has to go up a little bit because I mean, you can't see anything. For example, look. Those are my regular headlights. That's the high beam. What the hell is that? So I think I know what it is. I think the actual, um, the whole lighting unit needs to go move up. Because it looks like they're aimed down. Um... And I noticed a little bit that it kind of looks like it's aimed down. So I think that's what it is. Like I said, again, there's like pins on it. So you can adjust how far back or in it goes. So I think I got to adjust. All right, guys, as you can see, my package finally came in. You guys don't know what this is because I never told you what it is. But um, it's basically a, an air horn and a PA system in one. So we're going to open it up real quick. Figured I'd do it outside because it's such a nice day out. So uh, I'm going to open it up. So there it is, guys, for 20 bucks. Sixty watts. It's kind of like a a cheap kind of like hot horn or air horn, but there it is. It doesn't come with much parts, and it doesn't come with instructions or anything. So um, that should be fun. But yeah, um, it's a sixty watt, so it's pretty loud. My friend has this. My buddy has this, so that's why I bought this one. It's decent for now for 20 bucks. If you guys want a link to this, I'll leave it in the description below. Not bad for $20. Originally, my friend was supposed to install this for me, but um, I'm gonna try to do it myself because it, uh, it seems pretty self-explanatory. I watched some videos on YouTube and stuff uh, to see how to hook it up. So I'm gonna try doing it myself. It shouldn't be too, too hard. Um, hopefully I don't blow anything up in the process, but I'm gonna try it real quick. Just to see, I'm gonna hook it up to the battery, see if it works, first of all, so that I, you know, I don't have to return it or anything. All right guys, so as you guys can see, the wires are really, really short. They only reach so much, and obviously I'm not gonna have my speaker here. It's probably gonna either be back there where my friend has it, or up in the front. Now remember guys, I bought this just for the, um, the air horn. I didn't, it does come with sirens, but I didn't buy it for the sirens. I just bought it for the air horn and the PA system, so. You know, if you guys do buy this, just, you know, don't be stupid with it, um, obviously. But, uh, I'm just gonna put this to the battery now just to see if it works, and then, uh, I probably have to go to the store and buy some longer wire to run it. Alright, 
So, um, as you guys saw, it was real sunny about like an hour ago. Now it's starting to rain. So I was actually, I went to my dad's house because he's really good with wiring and, you know, he's done, you know, a lot of wiring and stuff throughout his lifetime. So he's real smart when it comes to stuff like that. So I went to his house to go install it and then it started to rain. So we kind of had to postpone it. Um, so I got to do that tomorrow. Hopefully it's nice tomorrow so we can do that. Um, it sounds really, really good. I'm not sure how it's going to sound on camera when I finish it. Um, but it's pretty loud. I mean, for the price, for 20 bucks, I mean, it, it's real good. It's worth it. So hopefully tomorrow, like I said, it'll be nice. Um, we can install it. I'll show you guys how he did it because he's, he's doing it like a certain way that he said is like the best way to do it. So we're going to do it that way tomorrow. I didn't want to install it and then it start downpouring because we don't have a garage to do it in. So if we did it outside, it'd get all wet and... That's not good. So I went to AutoZone. I picked up some um, wiring to uh, wire the uh, the horn in through my fuse. Well, my dad knows how to do it. He, like I said again, he's real good with uh, you know electrical stuff and working with cars. So I picked that up. We're gonna go install it tomorrow. Um, I'll film it on how he installs it. So if you guys you know want to pick this up, like I said again, it was only twenty bucks. I got two day shipping, so it was like thirty dollars. It was like ten dollars more. So I said screw it. I got two day shipping. Um, but yeah, like I said, again, for the price, I mean, it, it's well worth it. So, I mean, if you guys in the future do want to buy it and you want to know how to install it, I'll film him doing it so that you guys, you know, have an idea on how to do it, you know, the best way possible. All right, guys, so. just letting you know, this probably will be the shortest vlog that I've done. Um, trying to upload a vlog every three days, and um, the past three days, really nothing interesting has happened. We were supposed to go airsofting this week, but I bought some stuff in my car, so I didn't want to drop, you know, another $200 on airsoft, so... Um, that's why this vlog is probably going to be short. I didn't really have a lot to put in it. But I'm um, probably just going to install my air horn, which is sitting back there. And then uh, I'll show it off you guys, see what the buttons do. Uh, like I said, again, I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to purchase it. Like I said, for 20 bucks, it's not bad. Last vlog was actually the longest one. It was 20 minutes. So um, this... <laughs> installed um it's really really cool obviously i'm not going to use it on the road um i'm going to go to my grandparents farm uh, they got a lot of land so i'll mess around with it there I'll try to show you um how my dad was setting it up i didn't really want to talk over the video because he was kind of teaching me on how to do it so um i'll just put music over well you guys will already see it but um he did it real real easy it wasn't very very complicated you know anyone can do it um i actually put the uh these, uh, well, the control panel, I guess you can say, right here on the bottom. I just put it here for now just to kind of hide it, um, but it will originally go up here, or I was actually thinking about even mounting it right here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna set it up yet, that's why it's all kind of messy, but I just put it there for now just to kind of hide it. Um, but yeah, we're almost there, so I'm gonna t show you guys. It's actually really loud. For for 20 bucks, you can't, you can't beat that. So we're almost there, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna have some fun with it. There's so. The thing that it came with, the screws are really cheap. I had this over here with the sticky stuff and clearly it doesn't stick. Oh, and there it goes again. And now I lost it. Give me a sec. Right, there it is. Yeah, but it comes with a sticky thing. It sucks. I'd recommend screwing it in. But as you see, hold on, let me see if I can find the screw. The screws are like really, really cheap. So I got to get new ones and I'll probably mount it. Probably like maybe right there. Uh, yeah, probably right there. That'd look good. 
spot this sticky stuff like sucks it already fell like a couple times so i'll just put it there for now because you guys can see my grandparents have a lot of land so i'll just go out somewhere not gonna get stuck again but i'll go somewhere and i'll test it out for you guys it's actually really loud but um yeah like i said i only bought this basically for like private use and show um you know just to mess around and have fun with you know i know a lot of people that you know don't have police interceptors or crown victorias and they have the cop horn in it it's just something you know cool to have in your car and you know before you buy this make sure it's you know legal in your state in my state it is if you can tell either because it's kind of still daylight out but i sort of kind of fixed my headlights a little bit the right one shoots a little bit farther than the left one as you can see the left one's kind of like dim well not dim but it's kind of like aimed down still so i kind of got to readjust it a little bit but i definitely did fix it i figured out how to do it it's just those little knobs that you got to keep turning so right, i'm gonna go turn around right here and show you guys the um the air horn and the sirens and stuff just park it right here i'm not sure if you guys will be able to hear this but Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's vlog. Really short. Like I said again, I didn't really have anything interesting happening. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.